Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too so you don't miss out on an episode. Welcome back to the channel where last time we were here we were continuing to build up our ski resort town and I really like this build. It's a fun condensed little city with a theme and we kind of gave it like a raison d'etre. In today's episode we are going to be continuing that but working on the actual ski slopes and the the aspects of skiing to this ski resort because so far we've just built the town and some resorts but yeah i'm looking forward to actually diving into the skiing part of it because you know can't be a ski resort without the ski slopes so let's hop out and take a look at where we'll be building and what we did last time so here we are in the town and let's just switch to this view here and yeah we've done a lot the last two episodes i'm hoping that this episode will really kind of sum up the, this part of the town we'll get the ski slopes up in here but I'm thinking we're gonna need another episode to kind of work on uh, everything kind of in this pocket here so maybe there might be a live stream in the future in the near future so keep an eye out for that but yeah I was thinking that a live stream could do really well for the, just something small like in here kind of edge of a city kind of uh, kind of vibes so that's what I was thinking I uh, hope that works with you I'll let you know when I find a time for the live stream uh, and I'll let you know soon, uh, that's for sure. But yeah, so this is the town. I really like it. I like all the extensions we've done on it, but we're really kind of empty in this pocket here. And that's because we still need to build the ski slopes. So the town is really cool. We have the, the train station here with the main hub. Uh, we have an old factory, probably from an old lumber project that used to be out this way. Um, we have a busy main intersection with a motel. We have this, uh, this cool, winterized or winter themed uh, building over here uh, but then we have like uh, you know everything we have in a normal town we have all these apartment buildings this one's way too big let's take this one out before I forget that's way too big for that area <laughs> um, and then we have you know some high-rises for some from some modern developments and whatnot but also some older homes uh, like over here and then we get into the ski resort aspects of things we have uh, this amazing unique asset right through here um, that is fantastic I really like this Kind of like olympic village kind of style thing and then we have a couple hotels out this way but again we're rather empty over here so this is what we're going to be kind of filling out today and then we have uh, some open air malls as well because i feel like i can just imagine people with their snowboards walking up to these cafes in the winter grabbing their hot chocolates and whatnot so yeah i thought this was really fun and um then we have a couple more like pedestrianized zones but not really uh kind of like i guess revitalized areas because you still need the the road access in this kind of area here um but uh but yeah i really like this town i really like the way it's kind of uh come up oh yeah we have this little strip mall here too which is nice um but let's see what building went into that little slot that's perfect let's keep that one very funny all right so the exact plan for the day is we're gonna get a cable car out over here and then this one is going to go all the way out to about over here well we're gonna have like a bit of a landing with like some a restaurant kind of thing and then we'll have another cable car that bounces off of that one up into the mountains for some heavier duty skiing or something like that it might not be in those exact spots but then we have another spot over here we're gonna have a huge parking lot then we'll have our ski uh, lift and then we'll go all the way up right up to here and then that one's just gonna be a single shot and then we'll fill out the the rest of the city like in this little pocket here and also work in kind of this area here too because it's a little empty but also like it's a bit tough because what else can really go out this way i think we'll probably bring this road right down on this side pedestrian road and then we'll get some more buildings maybe some more cafes maybe even a third ski slope up to here or something like that so that's the plan let's start off with this one here oh game's a bit laggy uh with the parking lot so i was looking at the google maps and the google earth and we'll dive into that right now. And I'm looking at these ski slopes in Whistler, British Columbia, the kind of themed themes, the, the city that I'm taking a lot of the themes off of for this build. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm looking at this parking lot area here with, uh, you know, it's kind of just parking lot to ski slope to the, or sorry, parking lot to the cable car and up, you know. And then um, also there's like these big plazas and open areas around them. Uh, which makes sense because you know you have to line up and whatnot for them um, for them i haven't been skiing in years but it seems like a ton of fun and i would love to go back 
uh, maybe even two Whistler, who knows, but let's grab a huge parking lot right here. So I'm thinking that a parking lot would go well off of this road. Uh, so this is a, uh, like a residential zoned road. However, there is no buildings on this road exactly. So that's what's making me think that we can do this. But then we have this commercial building here, which is probably an older building because it is brick. We have a couple parks as well. Then on this side here, this will say we have a parking lot here. We have this clearly uh, built um, like a Airbnb building, basically a little hotel, uh, long term rentals kind of thing. Um, and then that's right beside the open air mall. So basically, I'm thinking that this would be a perfect spot for a huge parking lot where people drive in from here and they come right up and park their cars on like a day pass kind of situation and then they go uh, up the ski slope. So I want to do one quick adjustment here. So right now we have a two lane road going into this road and then they have to turn right to get there. So I'm actually going to split this up into a bit of a couplet where we're going to have an intersection right here. This one's going to swing out to here on a one way road and that way we can split the traffic as well. And then the rest of the traffic can go down this street and then we'll have the other lane go that way. And it might make a bit of a, um, a situation right on this road here, but that's okay. We can figure that out. So uh, let's uh, let's fix that up and then we'll have a bit of a little triangle here, which we could kind of detail up as a bit of an entrance to the city. All right, so a few quick adjustments here. We have this extra parking lot over here, which is nice. And we kind of fixed the lane solution here with uh, the two lanes from the one-way road coming through here. And then there's this dedicated turning lane into uh, um, the parking lot here, which I'm assuming that maybe in the winter, this is really busy and that's why the city has decided to do that. However, there's a quick little adjustment we can make here, which is with the two-lane country road. And we're just going to do this right there. And then we'll bring this one all the way back to here. And then this way it's a bit more, a bit faster, but also it looks a little bit more uh, realistic. And then right here, we can just bring this one right over to there. And that way it looks like uh, the turning lane actually is a true turning lane and it actually ends right there. And we have the flow pretty seamless right through here. Uh, but also the reason why I did that, did that is because we really needed a crossing walk here. And I put that right there as well. Um, because of people walking and walking through here. I didn't really know where to put that crosswalk. I put yields there so that if there are pedestrians, they can yield. Um, but uh, yeah, so this should work pretty nicely. This lane kind of merges into two, um, which is fine. Looking at these cars, looks like they're doing just that. And then they're taking a left here, but that's not what we're going to be doing uh, because we are going to make a dedicated right. And this one is just going to be a straight on, which Apparently you can't do so uh, we'll do that I, I bet I could actually get it to work like this though uh, this one goes right here yeah and then this one goes right there yeah very good so no lefts even though it looks like there's a left uh, I mean where are they where are they gonna go really I guess they could go down into here so yeah maybe we do need that one as well okay might as well might as well. Maybe we could get three lanes going in that part, but that's okay. I think we're probably fine here. Looks like this intersection is going to need a light of some sort, though. Uh, so let's put a light down. Whoa, not the kind of light I was looking for. I just wanted a simple little light here. <laughs> there we go. All right, that, sh that should be uh, should be good. Um, okay. So with that, we've kind of created a bit of a little triangle here, which we should totally detail up into some sort of welcome to the town. Uh, so let's do that right now because why not, right? So let's take a look at some of these little props here. This is a ski resort. That's not what I was looking for. <laughs> uh, let's a ski resort. What can we kind of add in? Nothing really too big, I guess, right? This is this isn't uh, exactly, um, you know, the most pedestrian friendly area at all. But maybe a little park could work out. That could be nice. Uh, maybe just like something small. What are what's in kind of this area here? The ice sculpture park, the ski lodge. Not going to really work. Um, hmm. Well, I'll just I'm just going to talk through this while we do this uh, because it's been a little while since I've released a video, 
and I want to apologize for that. Uh, I've, uh, to be honest with you, I've uh, struggled with some motivation to do this lately. Um, oh, I like that actually. It's a little bit of a family-friendly area, but I don't like the snowmen in this kind of park, so maybe we can find a different little park. Um, struggling with some motivation to, to play the, the game and get it out, but also I think the reason for that is because my job has decided that it's going to be uh, just busier than it ever has been the last few weeks. Uh, so it's been a bit a bit tough to find time to do uh, City Skylines. I typically, if you want to know some inside baseball here, I typically uh, record first thing in the morning. Um, you know, it's when your brain is freshest, but also it's uh, you know a good time before work. My dog's not too too uh, too crazy. Little Kevin, where is he? I know he's sleeping right now. That's that's good. Sleeping right on my feet. Um, actually, you know what? A little restaurant here could actually work out pretty nicely. Oh, that's too big. Yeah. Okay, this will work. Um, so uh, so yeah, it's been a little bit tough to find the the right time to do city skylines. Oh, that's perfect. Um, but I really want to, and I am really liking this little uh, City Skylines 1 build that we've been kind of taking on. Uh, and I like that we're kind of doing a, uh, a unique little city, a little, a little town. We're not hopping right back into the t into the city, into uh, Oracle Valley directly, like into the, the heart of it, but this is a bit more like um, its own little build, right? And I, I like that. This has been a good little reintroduction to City Skylines 1 and um, City Skylines 2. Well, I'm going to take a bit of a break from City Skylines 2. Um, I sh struggled a little bit with figuring out the momentum of the game with recording, like playing it. It's fine. I played a bunch uh, actually um, by myself in my free time, which, you know, there's not a lot of, uh, but uh, yeah, I just kind of trying to figure out the rhythm of it and I still struggled with trying to find the rhythm of how to play the game for YouTube um, why can't I get rid of that little thing you see that uh, so I'm taking a break from City Skylines 2 until a lot of the aspects of why I have been struggling with the game have been kind of amended I would say which appears Hopefully that that's going to be the case eventually. That looks pretty nice, actually. We're going to detail this up. Um, and uh, if you want to hear more of my thoughts on City Skylines 2, uh, the Skyline 6 did a bit of a podcast on the Flyvox Talks podcast, uh, which you can find uh, here. I'll link it right there if I remember. Hopefully I do. Otherwise, this is really awkward. Um, and uh, yeah, you can hear more of my thoughts on it. I... Uh, uh, and more, some more inside baseball. Kevin was being a little crazy during it, so I don't really chime in until <laughs> about part way through. Um, but uh, but yeah, so just a little uh, a fun little extra thing if, in case you were curious about uh, my thoughts on City Skylines 2 and whatnot. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so this is looking really nice. I like these little paths here. I don't not really sure how much is how much it's going to be used, uh, but yeah, maybe we should actually get the crosswalk right here then. That would make sense. But uh, anyways, I'm really enjoying City Skylines 1 because City Skylines 1 is in such a good spot. Uh, the, the game is fantastic. There's nothing wrong with it at all. The the, the play that you can, the, the kind of the momentum you can get with the game is, is so fantastic. And the, the micro detailing like we've just been doing has been really fun. But also you get to, it's just a bit more, uh, there's a lot more to do because the game's a lot older. Nothing against City Skylines 2 at all. It's just it's a brand new game, so there's not as much to do as we're used to, right? So that's uh, that's about it. Uh, but regardless, um, I'm going to be playing City Skylines 1 a bit more uh, in the near future. Uh, this is episode 50 of Oracle Valley, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so we're going to continue with this for a few more episodes at least before we get back into City Skylines 2. I just really need to find the momentum of a Let's Play with that game. And uh, that's just what I've been struggling with, is figuring out how the game flows for my content creation style. Nothing wrong with the game itself. It's a fun, uh, it's a fun game. 
but creating it or posting content on YouTube for it and whatnot, I'm still just trying to figure out the, the flow of it. That's all. So I hope that made sense and it wasn't just a little ramble, but, uh, but yeah, okay. This is, uh, this is looking nice. Good little entrance into the city. Uh, very good. We have this little pocket here, which, uh, honestly, I don't know what, what can really go here. It's a bit of a dead space here. We could probably build some paths around it, but this is getting a bit more into the, the weeds here. And I don't really want to do that. We're talking about the ski slopes today. Uh, so we have this right hand turn here and then we get onto this street. We need to change this street into a street without parking on it. Uh, so two lane road, no parking, although there is one that is from the vanilla game. There it is. Uh, we are just going to pause the game and do this because we're going to need to take the zoning off of it um, because we would have just messed up all the zoning we had just done. And you know what? I bet I removed this. Yeah, I did. There we go. Dedicated right hand turn. Uh, very, very good. And then we're probably going to need to have a bit of a uh, extra lane here. So let's add this one in right there. Flip it around. And I can probably bring that down to about here. And you know what? We could even flip it around like that so that we have a, a right hand turn there. Um, although, why would you need it if you were coming from this direction? So maybe we just do something like that the whole way. Uh, that would make sense. Okay. And then let's take the zoning off again. And we're going to need to dive into this little area here. I don't want the, the parking right off of this road. I want another little road in between. Uh, so to do that, I'm thinking we're actually going to use the uh, two lane country road. Now, this is a fast road. However, it blends really well with um, surface painter. So that is why I'm kind of leaning towards using this one. So we're just going to bring this in very slightly and we'll bring this one all the way around. OK, well, we can we can work this out uh, in a bit. Uh, but regardless, this is this was the point of the two lane road here is that we're going to have a dedicated uh, turn lane here. Whoops, right. And then this one is just straight. Um, I guess it, in a way it could be straight and left. But if you're coming this direction, you already had the, uh, the chance to go that way. So um, it's fine. Uh, OK, so we have our turning lanes into here. And then I also really want to remove parking off of these two roads. Okay, so this should be good. And uh, now let's find a huge parking lot. So we have a couple options for that. Right, we have the uh, ones from the, uh, the vanilla game, uh, which is awesome. Where are they? This one here. But, uh, you know, we're going to need a couple of these guys to get there. And to be honest, it's a winter city and the snow plows need to move through the parking lot in the night. So we're going to need some really just wide open, huge parking spaces. So let's uh, go with a nice 10 by six. I guess that's the biggest we have. Oh yeah. Look at that. Get that parking. Um, so let's place two of these guys down and I see that there is wheelchair access, which, which is uh, important that we uh, play into that a little bit and make sure that uh, we have that in the proper areas, which would be closer to the chair lifts. Um, if people were to use it like that. So let's uh, bring these two in like that. And then I'm just going to fill out the rest of the parking lot. Uh, this is going to be the, the, the size of it, really. Um, and I'm going to fill out the rest of the parking lot with other aspects to parking. So, um, oh, I don't love how people are using this as a bit of a cut through. So we're going to need to slow the speed down as well uh, before I ho hop into a, a little speed through here. Let's up the speed limits on both of these roads. It's a lot. It's pretty fast, but um, it should work out. All right, so I'm going to fill out the spaces with uh, extra parking lots, and I'll talk to you in a minute.
huge parking lot achieved. This is awesome. So there are a couple like open spots there, but uh, it's okay. It all flows out really nicely, particularly like these lanes through here. But uh, yeah, so we'll see cars drive around through here. I put these little gates in here, which are from the uh, one of the new railroads of Japan uh, DLC. But funny enough, since they drive on the right on the the left side of the the road in Japan, the things are reversed. So I guess I could flip them around somehow, but um, that's okay. We'll just use our imagination. Um, so look at this. We got this. We have this huge open space here, and we're ready to go with the ski lift. Uh, so. Uh, we have this main road through here, which has parking on it. I'm going to switch that off to no parking here. Um, but yeah, so how are we going to play this out? Well, uh, we are nice. Yeah, nothing changed there. Perfect. We are going to get a chairlift in here, uh, but or a cable car. But uh, it's going to need to be not within this parking lot area. It's going to need to be kind of on its own little thing because you can totally just walk up to it if you're staying in the town, right? That's that's the point. Uh, so we're going to bring in another road. And this one is just going to be probably the same idea here with the uh, uh, the rural road because it's very simple looking and whatnot. So we'll grab this and we'll bring this out slightly like this. And we're going to get the cable car kind of... I guess off of this somehow should we bring in something like this and place it on there yeah maybe I suppose so doesn't hurt and uh, I guess in the winter this will all be covered by snow and whatnot but it'll be nice to have like these streets through here and then we could easily turn the rest of it actually can we make this all pedestrian that would be nice let's see we're using cobblestone I think uh, so let's see if we can upgrade all of this to cobblestone. That's the big one. Okay, I don't want the big one. <laughs> Whoops. Um, is that the big one? Yeah, it is. No, oh, that's a small cobblestone. Is that the small cobblestone street? I thought it was smaller than that. Okay, we're good. Uh, but let's get the one with trees on it as well. And this way we can... Uh, it'll kind of be like a, a physical barrier for cars in this sense. So there we go. And we'll get the chair left off of here, but we can also get a connection with the small cobblestone road uh, all the way through to here or something like that. So we could even start swinging it up the hill a little bit, connect it up right there with that pedestrian path. Yeah, we could have some really fun uh, high density residential. Now, what district are we in? I don't think we're in a district, so we could pull from one of them. Should this be a bit more of the modern style and we pull from Castle Mountain here? Yeah, I think we will. Whoops. Um, and this one will be all up in here. Okay. Very cool. We can get some cool modern condos kind of through here. Very fun. Nothing too big, though. That's why I'm kind of limiting it on the size. And then right through here, we won't have enough space so we could totally throw down a bit of a park here uh, so let's throw it in a couple parks Okay, very good this was a fun little addition here I like the curves on it and then we also get this souvenir shop here which is right perfectly placed in the touristy zone so very good let's now get this cable car in so we have the cable car stop and then we have the cable car end of line so I think it needs to be the end of line uh, stop and we'll get this one right here and uh, I guess it could be like that or we could even turn it I think I've taken off um, the uh, parking at some point which is nice so we could place it like right in there like this right at the end or we could place it over here and I like the idea of placing it over here uh, this looks good because it's closer to the um, parking lot which is good and then we can even swing this out 
uh, a little bit further, which we can totally do, but let's get this into the pedestrian zone first. All right, yeah, this, look, this looks really, really cool. So we have this. There needs to be a lot of open space like we saw, right, for people to line up. So maybe this isn't the right spot for it. Maybe we need to pull it back a little bit. And we'll pull it back as far as we can, I guess, for the road access. And then we can get maybe one of those airport skirts or something. And that way it'll show like a larger concreted area. So that would be in transport, airport. Uh, this way it's like a clean squared off kind of thing, right? Rather than me trying to fiddle with surface painter. Um, so yeah, we can kind of do something like this. And I know that there's some issues with the airport skirting, but we're going to need to figure out a way to make it look clean and, and, and squared off, right? So this is probably the best way and we'll include those back pillars into the concrete. But otherwise, this looks pretty good. So let's maybe think about flattening out the terrain. I probably should have done that first. Uh, if I've learned anything from City Skylines 2, it's that you should probably work on the terrain first. It's about as good as we're going to get there on that corner. So let's add in a few trees to kind of uh, block it off a little bit, make it seem a bit more... Uh, realistic whoa uh, but now we have a path running through here too which will be fun for lights and now we have like a kind of a, a lineup area so that's good and then maybe we can get a few more trees over here oh you know what would actually be really good like a bathroom or something like that because I'm sure if you're waiting in line you're gonna need a bathroom at some point right um, so let's uh, get a couple of those in now let's go with the zoo ones I like the zoo style All right, so I don't really want anything in uh, between, like on this area here, because you know it's going to be a mess. Snow piles are going to be everywhere, but this is the summer after all. So anything that would be here would just probably be for like, hikers and whatnot, um, because uh, I do know that sometimes uh, in the summer the ski slopes, especially in the mountains, turn into like hiking areas. So um, I mean, why not, right? So let's get a couple uh, picnic tables out this way. Nothing too crazy though, because it's definitely not as popular in the summer as it is in the winter. Uh, so there we go. We have our ski lift. That's fantastic. We uh, did a good job here. Um, right here, I could probably fence this off all the way across, and then that would make sense. But what we're going to do with this land over here, I guess that would be something that we can figure out in the live stream. Maybe a second ski slope can come down from here into this path or something. So maybe we do just fence this off for now and we'll come back to it because uh, I feel like I thought I would do a lot more in this episode than I have so far. So let's just connect that in and we'll get a couple trees to kind of fill in that awkward spot right here. Very good. All right, but I really like this. So now let's uh, figure out how we're going to do the ski slope. So uh, this is just going to be a uh, a ski slope that's going to have a start and a finish. Over here, I'm going to do a ski slope that has a start, uh, like like one uh, ski slope, a rest stop, and then you're going to need to transfer to another one up here. This, that way we can get like a cool zone right there. So that's what we're going to be doing next. Uh, but let's fix this off first. So um, we're going to need, I guess, a pedestrian road up there. Uh, so let's go with the cobblestone and let's figure out a cool spot. So I don't want the skiing to go down this side because that way we're kind of interfering uh, with the theme of this town so which is the town of hope that uh, joy build cities built so I'm thinking if we kind of start right up in here that would be cool so I think this will work I forget the trick exactly it's been a little while since I've done something like this but I think we should be good um, but I was thinking like this is a very popular ski slope maybe we could kind of include one in case this doesn't work and it doesn't work in the way that like there's like garbage fill up and stuff like that so I was thinking that if we have to we could use one of these guys the small service point area I don't know if this is going to work, so you're going to need to let me know, and then by the live stream, we'll fix it. 
but I guess we can play test it a little bit. So uh, we could, this is just in theory, do something like this. And whoops, no, no, I was looking for move it there. Um, <laughs> this looks really silly. Uh, but we could kind of play it along something like that. And then this area here, could we could have like some sort of access road if we needed kind of connecting off of this. But then, like, I guess in a way this should work. And then this can be like a little bit of a rest stop area. And maybe we have like, no, 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 I think this should be good. Maybe the bathrooms are in here, right? Like that's the that's the idea. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're just gonna make this look really silly, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I guess maybe we could make it on a dirt road. It doesn't have to be a paved road and the dirt road would look a lot nicer. So let's go with that one. But I think in a, w that looks funny too. Uh, I think in a way that like in theory, this should work. So um, even without this, because I believe that's the purpose. But yeah, so we can try it like this, but I'll take this out for now and we'll come back and delete this and we'll see if anything clogs up here. I'm going to throw it on three speed uh, so that way we can even figure it out. We can figure that out faster because it'd be awesome if we don't need one of those pedestrian points or pedestrian zones. Um, so yeah, let's go through these trees here and we'll just go straight down through here, come right down over on this side and then we'll just make a straight shot for it at that point. Okay. Very casual ski slope. This one's the easy one, right? Like it's very simple and uh, not too sloped and whatnot. But then we get up here a bit steeper, a bit steeper, but there's still like some gradual slopes and whatnot, which is nice. Um, okay, so if, if this is all good, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, with, uh, with the build. So I think we are good, um, but I'm going to make this pedestrian no I think gravel roads will be fine to kind of work off of this because we're not going to connect to anything else so if I just kind of leave it like like this we can bring this dirt road around in the mountains and then there shouldn't be any cars and I'll kind of show it like a bit of a path and then we can place park buildings on it I think would be the idea um, but I guess in a way we could just do that with normal normal paths we don't necessarily need this to be roads I don't even know so let's uh, bring this just right out to here then. We'll bring this one out right through here just so we have like a little teeny zone here for people to come off of the, the lodge or the, the ski lift here, which is nice. And then uh, we'll have, I guess the idea would be that you get off the ski lift here. Maybe we'll have a bathroom. Okay, so uh, this works out great. Uh, I think there's a bit more detailing we can do, but let's grab our dirt path. And this way is, this is going to be like the start of the summer hiking trails through the mountains, but also this is going to be kind of showing off where technically the skiers would go uh, to um, go down the hill. So uh, how we're going to do this to show off the ski slopes is with trees. Uh, so we're just going to fill this out. And uh, I'm going off of, if you follow the Skyline 6, I'm going off of kind of how Flyvox did it in our holiday live stream. So if you haven't seen the holiday live stream or you don't know Flyvox, uh, subscribe to Flyvox. Flyvox, awesome. Part of the Skyline 6. Um, but yeah, I, thought, I saw this during the holiday live stream and I was like, that is such a cool way to do this, uh, to show it off. It's kind of like what we did with the golf course uh, in a way where the trees kind of really show off where the holes are. However, with the golf course, uh, like we did in the last Skyline 6 um, episode of the summer vacation, um, the, the the golf course kind of, um, you know, we used uh, decals to show off the, the, the greenery, but uh, it works in the same kind of concept, I guess. Uh, so let's see, let's make a bit of a split here and we'll add some more trees. Uh, and then we'll go underneath this side here and we'll add some more trees and then we'll kind of have two different ski slopes and like i said we're going to try and get um multiple ski slopes to kind of converge here so i need to figure out uh the tr uh, unlimited trees mod um because i think i had to remove it for something 
but I really need it because I've run out of trees. Uh, trees, as you can see, as we zoom out on the map, I've taken out trees like everywhere on the edge of the map and whatnot over here. So I would like to add more trees. So I got to figure that out. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, okay. So let's get some of these trees in here, and then this way we can have another ski slope kind of coming out this way. Yeah, so this is kind of what Flyvox did in the holiday live stream, and I thought that was really, really cool. So shout out to Flyvox. S subscribe to Flyvox. Flyvox also has the podcast that I was on, um, talking about City Skylines 2 from a content creator's perspective. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely go check Flyvox out. Uh, very, very fun. Uh, so yeah, that looks awesome. I think this looks uh, really good. Uh, I think this is working out great. So that way... Let's play this out. So you get off of the, the ski lift here. You go to the bathroom because it takes a little while and you forgot uh, when you were down there. You grab your hot chocolate and you mentally prepare yourself to go down the hill. Uh, throw yourself down a mountain on waxed plastic. <laughs> so then we go down. This looks great. Yeah, this looks like a great ski slope. And then we have, oh, look at this. There's a sneaky little path. And then we can turn this way and go down, uh, being very careful all the way through here, down these multiple paths yeah that looks awesome but I would really like a fun little uh, walk maybe up this hill and we can get like another ski slope down through here because that way that would be like a the double black diamond kind of mountain yeah very fun very fun so then you come down through here and then you go down the hill uh, we're gonna need our trees again to kind of show off where the no-go zones are um, okay very good yeah so you, you can't really go down the hill this way well that's what we're saying is that it's not allowed uh, and then yeah so we can get a couple trees in through here to kind of show where the line would be because I'm not sure how many trees would actually be up the mountain this high and we'll see if we can get a little bit down through here And then we'll take out the trees right through here as well. Okay, very fun. Got the double black diamond up through here. And uh, we can actually put like some signposts down, I guess, as well. That's fun. And that was also in the nature reserve. So that would be at the back, I think. Yeah. So this one says, warning, double black diamond. I think that's what they're called. Don't go unless you're a skilled professional <laughs> or amateur, I guess. Uh, and then we have our other signs over here. Didn't mean to click that one in. Okay. Yeah, very good. I like this. And if we look at it from a distance, we can kind of see the, the various ski slopes. And then we'll figure out how this all plays out. Uh, next time but yeah the, we got the one chair lift up through here and then we'll have like a little like tank type thing I forget what they're called they got the treads on them but we'll say that there's a, a truck that takes people up there or it, they can just walk if you're gonna be dangerous and go down that 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 hill I'm sure you can just walk up a little bit of a, a cliff there so uh, yeah and look at that people are going up there that's very cool Oh, never mind. They're just walking around. Um, all right. So it looks like we're all okay from here. So I might, we might be able to take this road off. And yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. We, we did a little bit of a play test to figure out if that all worked out. And I think it did. So um, yeah, we can uh, just have these little teeny pockets of, of park area, which is nice to see. And then we have a bit of space through here to throw down some other things things uh, we could throw down like a bit of a building here okay very good and then that way we can uh, get this a bit closer and then we can grab the pedestrian path and swing this out further we'll grab the node here yeah that looks awesome a cool cabin maybe it's a historical cabin too uh, but let's uh, let's add some trees around it. Okay, that fills it out a lot. 
Uh, and then we have the bathroom through here and we'll get some trees around it as well. All right. Uh, so that's the first ski resort or ski, uh, ski slopes. And we'll get the pedestrian path up and around to connect it to the other ones uh, when we get to it, which is right now. Um, because uh, holy cow, time has flown by. So we're going to take the same concepts that we just did and we're going to do the same thing. So, uh, but in this case, we don't need that big of a parking lot because uh, the parking lot, uh, people going off of this one probably are in the town and stuff like that. I don't want people parking up this way. However, we're still going to need parking for these hotels and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking this would be really good. Then I don't know what to do with this space though, which we can figure out. Um, it probably just add a few more little uh, strips of uh, resort. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking parking lot is probably going to be the best case, but not in direct, not directly right here, because this is where the ski slopes are going to come into. Uh, so let's. Do a bit of a speed through here. All right, so that was enough of a speed through there. But um, yeah, I think if we start covering this area with nature, it'll make it seem a bit more like it fits in with the ski theme. Um, but uh, also I like the idea of this kind of like pedestrian path that runs without anything between this ski lift. I mean, there's a couple buildings through here, but uh, all the way up to this one. So it's kind of like seamless. You just have to cross two roads, which I'm sure is fine. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a, a good little idea walk through nature. Maybe we can add in a couple little little items through here as well like a, um, Like a cafe or something like that at the halfway point with like a bit of a restaurant and we'll go with the zoo stuff So we'll go with the zoo cafe and we'll put this one uh, right there and we'll have the restrooms on the no, Yeah, right, right here too that that works too um, But yeah, I thought that this was a bit of a a different kind of thing that we haven't really done so yeah get these guys to blend in a little bit better there we go and we'll add a few more trees through here okay and then we have uh, this big parking lot right through here which is probably just for hotel parking uh, otherwise I'm sure that we're gonna need to get people up here which I mean, we do have a bus op opportunity right here, which would be cool. So let's see, we can grab uh, an express bus or something that goes right from here down through the town and we won't even get it to stop. We'll get it to stop right into the uh, bus stop area and then back. And then that one will just be like a little shuttle. So let's see if we can do that. Bus, bus, bus. Uh, it'll be the newest line. I hadn't I haven't named the lines. I'm sorry uh, But uh, yeah, we'll just go with the shuttle bus. Oh, how about this one the 25 capacity bus. There we go uh, And then that way we have like a bit of a shuttle up to here where we have the sparkly unicorn rainbow park which I've never used before 
but I thought it fit just absolutely perfectly here as well, which is kind of fun. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so it's a huge attraction too, which will bring people up to the ski lift area, uh, which is a little bit different play on what we did last time, but I really wanted to get buildings on this side of the, um, the unique building here. So this way it looks a bit more complete. Uh, and then we'll kind of peter it off a little bit, uh, maybe getting a road through here. I don't know. I, I can, I'm also comfortable just ending it like that as well. Um, but uh, we definitely need to figure out how this space kind of flows in. Like a, probably get a pedestrian connection at least through here uh, just for the sake of things. But uh, yeah, let's get this um, chairlift in here. But let's plan out where it's going to go, where it's going to land. So I'm thinking if we pop out our topography here. Oh, yeah, look at this. We're getting crime and stuff, which I guess is the reason why we can't have this. So maybe we do need the service point. Hmm. Let me know in the comments if I did something wrong here, because like technically it's working, but we're getting crime. Uh, so does that go through the service point? Like, is that the magic connection? The service point? Um, yes, because you can have... Yeah, okay, I, I, th I think so. Anyways, we'll come back to it because I really need to finish this. Uh, so let's figure out where we're going to be placing our first little stop here. So this is just gonna be a small hill and I think this spot right here looks really nice. Whoa, it's a bit of a halfway point between that and then the mountain. So yeah, let's uh, level out some terrain right here. We might even need to include a bunch of the service points through here and then we can probably figure out how to get a road connect connection to the other side if we do need like a a road connection up through here which would make sense that there is like a path for trucks and stuff to to go through um but yeah kind of cutting it across the side would be good we could swing it down through here get that road connection in and then we can swing it up the hill here with our dirt road and then connect it up which isn't the worst idea in the world um, but okay, so we have that through here. Let's get our pedestrian zone into this area. All right, so we're going to need a road uh, to connect the two. So let's go small cobblestone pedestrian street. And let's grab this and we'll just throw this right down the middle here like that. A nice little avenue here. Uh, and then we're going to need two more connection points with uh, the cable cars so uh, this one will be right here we'll have the other one just slightly or should be immediate like that yeah I think that's pretty cool okay and then we're gonna need another little zone up the hill which will be over in this area here so let's level out some terrain and find a good spot So uh, with that, now let's figure out how we're going to connect up the other ski hill with this. So I think we're just going to come right down through here. And this is a pretty challenging ski slope, isn't it? And then we can connect up into these ones here really simply. Wide uh, berths to that and then maybe even can get a smaller connection up through here. Back into this area. We'll probably need to smooth out the terrain here because that's a quite the jump otherwise and I don't I don't know about that so, so uh, there we go okay that's pretty good and then let's get another uh, connection this is this will be the main route down and then we can have another one right here okay that's looking really good I like this okay so now we need to figure out how we're going to do this so if we're gonna get a service point this would be a good spot to do it because we can easily bring like a dirt road running through here and it'll just be like a like really like legitimate service uh access to the areas right so um that would be good whoa 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 whoa, whoa. i just peeked up here and saw that we have a ton of cemeteries that are full so give me a second i'll be right back and we're just going to clean those up 
and get back to the ski. Okay, so I did that, and uh, yeah, okay, so if we are going to get a, a, a dirt road, let's get that in now, um, and that's probably going to be our best bet. Plus, it actually kind of works with the theme, because I'm sure that these things need maintenance, right? And I'm sure that they're service roads. All right, so technically this should work now. We have, uh, on all three access points, uh, we have a connection to our service point, which is over here. So technically this should work. That is my understanding now. Um, so uh, when we have another slope over here or something like that, we can get a different road connection in. Um, but looking at our three uh, ski slopes here, this works. So the, the only thing is that there is parts where it crosses the slopes but i think that's fine i from what i've seen on on ski slopes like there has to be some access into the area for emergency vehicles and whatnot so uh anyways uh let's uh so what i mean now that we have all these ski slopes kind of set out um i think now we just need to uh kind of build them up a little bit so uh, i really wanted to make sure that this one in particular had, had a bit of a hotel on it uh, because I thought that the nature hotel would be really cool in the mountains, like Mountain Lodge. Uh, and, uh, I mean, technically you can drive up to it. Or maybe there's a shuttle, right? So, uh, let's plop this one down right here. Oh, I don't love that there's parking. I guess it would make sense that there would be parking. Never mind. Um, so, yeah, I think if we kind of plop this one up in here. And then if we grab it and all of these nodes... Uh, just those ones. I think they're fine. And we set them to the same height as that. We should be good. And then we just need to manip... Whoops. Uh, we just need to uh, manipulate this a little bit better. All right, so we got that in, and I think that's awesome having this mountain lodge up here, but uh, there are other buildings that we can get in as well, uh, like the ski lodge, but I forget where it is. Is it in here? Uh, the ski lodge. Nope. Ah, oh, gosh, let me find it first. I thought I knew where it was, my goodness. How is it not in here? I thought for sure it would be in this one. Ah, there it is ski lodge so i thought that maybe a couple of these ones would be nice maybe especially over in these kind of areas maybe it was like an old maybe this area was a bit of an old uh like a lumber area first and so there's uh these cool buildings that remain um which would be neat to uh, neat little concept here but then let's get another one of these guys uh and then this one could be like over in here i mean maybe people live out this way i mean i don't love that there's pavement on it but yeah maybe we can get a couple of these out in this area and we'll just remove the pavement there go the cops cars to f figure out that problem that we've had all the way up there uh, i might actually just pump the speed limit up on this road anyways um just to uh, help uh, out with um, service vehicles getting around and stuff. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I think this kind of adds a bit to the area a little bit. But then I also want to get a couple more buildings. So I'm thinking that a cafe would be fun up here. One of these newer ones, though. So we have the restaurants, the sidewalk cafe. 
uh, would be fun. Um, so let's see, people will be skiing down into here. So I don't want it there. So we can get this right about here. Yeah, that makes sense to do. So let's get a newer building in, which is this one. Nope, wrong one. This one here. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, that looks like a cool uh, building to have in here. So we'll swing that right down like that. And there's a bit of a, a waiting area and whatnot. And um, I don't think I can cover this up with a pavement. Let's see if I if this works. So that is a ton of stuff going on over here. Uh, we don't need parking, I don't think. Uh, should we get any other type of services out this way? I don't know. I'm just going to give it a quick little peruse and a quick little think. Probably some props would be good because uh, we've been kind of detailing as we've been going. Uh, but again, this is just for hikers right now, at least. I doubt there's this many uh, cable car connections up there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is cool. We got the lodge in. And if you want to see a cool mountain lodge video, uh, Thunder from Down Under, uh, Skyline 6 member, just did a cool mountain lodge video in City Skylines 1. So yeah, check that out. Uh, very, very fun build. But uh, yeah, I'm not going as far as Thunder did with the mountain lodge. This is just more like a, a unique little hotel stay down the, down the ski slopes. Um, but let's see, did these police cars sort this out yet? My goodness. There we go. <laughs> uh, I guess some cafes would be probably good to throw out this way and, and some restroom, of course. We already have that kind of right there, but we could totally get another restroom. So let's go with the zoo uh, restroom. Yeah, and then this one will be right there. And then we'll have the zoo cafe. And this one will be right here. Very cool. Maybe souvenir shop. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to cram stuff in now. Yeah, I mean, this makes things look a little bit more complete. Awesome. Okay, so I really like this. We have one more to do, which is up in here. And this one's just going to be very simple. Uh, this one, I'm thinking we just pull back like that. This one will pull right in to about here. And then we'll use the node controller to really sort this out a little bit. Nope, node controller, please. Bring this one right in. Uh, yeah, we don't really need anything uh, at all, really. I think this is like more of like an outpost in a way. Uh, and then we have the ski slopes down right through there. Uh, so I guess in a way we could probably sneak another one down through here as well. Triple black diamond. This one will be very difficult. Oh man, yeah, I don't know about this one. This is an old one, an old right of way or something that skiers still know it's a secret in the ski community of Oracle Valley that you can go down that way. That looks really good. I like the, so the roads are the one thing that I'm not in love with, but I think it works out. It plays really well, I guess. And hikers can use them still and whatnot, but I think we need, just need those hiking trails and then we're pretty much done. We have the connections in here. You'd ski down through here. Let's, let's play this out again, okay? We'll start from the top. So you're an elite skier and you jump over this log. So let's, let's remove it. Um, or snowboarder. And then you come down this hill and you go through all these crazy twists and turns and you have the options of where to go. But you want to go over here because you want to hit up the, the hot chocolate spot. You grab your hot chocolate and beaver tail if you're a Canadian. Well, this isn't Canada, so you grab your beaver tail from over here. But let's get our beaver tail stop in. And if you don't know what a beaver tail is, it's just a fried dough in the shape of a beaver tail. And it's covered in like uh, sweet, delicious candies and, and sugar and, and whatnot. The, the best one if you ever come to Canada and you're like, I have heard so much about this beaver tail. They're usually in these red little uh, trucks like this or little stands. And here's the secret. So you get your beaver tail and you got to get the classic, which is the cinnamon sugar one. But they have a, uh, a different one for the same price, same price. And it comes with a lemon wedge. And you're like, really? A lemon wedge, Stephen? Is that going to make the world of a difference? It's called like the sunrise or something like that. And yes, it does make a world of difference. It is so good. Uh, you squeeze a bit of lemon juice on it. And um, wow, it makes the beaver tail go from elite to double elite. So, so yeah, we got some beaver tail stands in now. Uh, very good. Uh, now we just need to kind of uh, finish playing this out and then we'll see what else we need. So we have our beaver tail stand up here. You stop, you you know, have your, your fun times 
uh, you go to the, the little lodges. Maybe you're staying at this hotel. Uh, and then you go down this one. This one's a lot more chill. Yeah, very chill ski path through here. Yeah, just gradual slopes. And then you come down to here and you're boom, you're right back in the town. But we definitely need some fun uh, buildings in here, like um, some restaurant stands and stuff. Uh, because it looks a little empty, so... Uh, yeah, let's fill this out with some uh, restaurant stands and whatnot, and then uh, we'll probably call it a day. Awesome, so we have those, uh, you know, fun little food stands down in there. And then all we have left is this kind of access point here, which I was thinking, like, what could it be? And we could sneak another uh, kind of uh, cable car directly up from here to this one. And I don't know if you can connect multiple. Oh, you can. Fantastic. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We'll do this last one. Yeah, look at that. Holy cow, you can fit two on these things? I had no idea. That is going to take some uh, elite programming. That's for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought that it'd be fun to kind of get just one more little uh, connection in here because we had this little access point and it felt a little bit awkward just to kind of leave it. And it would also make it flow a little bit better with uh, this one. <laughs> Yeah, this looks really really good so a uh, ton of fun and again this i i first saw this uh with when flyvox did it during the holiday live stream so shout out flyvox uh and shout out thunder for their recent video about uh mountain lodge so kind of two themes for the skyline six members that have been done recently that i uh wanted to do in my city too uh but uh yeah so there's still a few things we got to finish off and we'll do that in the live stream. So if uh, there's any comments that I haven't answered um, yet uh, or off of this video, we'll try and include them in the live stream video. So I'm just going to connect this up like that. And then we can have another pedestrian path up all the way through here. And I don't love how it looks so straight cut off here so we might need to add in a few more residential uh, buildings um, in between here and here so we can just do that right now actually uh, with just like small residential buildings like this this should really fill out the area <laughs> All right, well, uh, Castle Mountain is pretty much complete now, and I really enjoy this. Uh, I guess I don't know if I showed this in one of the speed throughs. I found this one, which is like a sleigh ride, um, which is kind of funny that that this is happening in the summer. But I thought that building looked nice to be there, and uh, yeah, this is really cool, cool build. To kind of sum up what we did today, we fixed the traffic flow into the area for people coming for this, their ski trips. A um, bit of a backlog here with the light, but I think it looks a little bit nicer. Um, and then people come here and they park their cars for their day pass, and then they hop on this ski lift, grab their beaver tail, and come up this for their casual skiing experience. But then people who stay in the hotel at this, the hotels or want to spend a couple days at the resorts or whatnot, there's these two ones as well, but also I'm sure you can come here for just for a day trip. Or we have an express one to the top, and then we have a a bit of a more of a lazier one for um, people just casually skiing or pe maybe people who are new at skiing because this these slopes here are pretty smooth and simple um, and then we have our extension up through here as well to just a very simple uh, one but we also have a couple uh, hiking trails through here and we have our other ski lodge up through here as well um, probably deserved another hiking trail or two but we can get to that next time um, but all in all, folks, I really, really enjoyed this build a lot. And we're not done because there's still a few things we need to sort out 
um, and whatnot, and particularly particularly over here. So whether that be in the next live stream or in another video, I think um, this worked out really well. So let's see how we can kind of get a cool screenshot of the builds here. I think this screenshot here works out pretty good. Yeah, I like the building combinations in the screenshot and we see the ski slopes. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day, folks. Talk to you soon. Sorry about the lack of videos lately. Peace out.